Second game of the day going down at the Garden was between Duxbury and Springfield Cathedral. We go to the first period where the Panthers were playing a man down but still able to create opportunities as here Zach Pranson gets fed the pass, comes up and launches one from just above the circle, finds the back of the net, put Cathedral up by one. Moments later in the first, Cathedral looking to add on to that as Bryce Perrett slaps one from the top of the circle and has it deflected by DJ Petrozelli for the goal. But hold on a second, take a look at the net. Clearly off the pegs here, but the refs never whistled. They convene and decide no goal, so still just a goal deficit for Duxbury. Still 1-0 as we head into the second until Duxbury gets on the board. Here's Matt Saya from right in front blasting one home to tie things up in one. The Cathedral would respond. Still in the second, the Dragons are not able to clear the zone and watch the stick work and pass from Johnny Leonard over to Riley Pratson, who's able to bury it home to regain the lead for the Panthers. Late in the third, the game is pretty much put away here in the home run pass up ahead to Peter Cronella. Able to hold off of the defender and go blocker side here. The Panthers would add an empty netter. Take this one by the final of 4-1. Game 2 will be this Thursday at Songus Arena in Lowell. For ESPN Boston High Schools, I'm Greg Story.